Call me in order. We have Lucian. Lucian. By Councillor Morrill, second by Councillor Laurie, resolving agenda for the October 16th regular council discussion. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. The motion moved by Councillor Morrill, second by Councillor Laurie, resolve the minutes of the August 28th regular special meeting council. The October 2nd regular meeting council be adopted and received. Discussion? All in favor? Carried. First item on the agenda is the motion moved by Councillor Morio, second by Councillor Dora, resolve the Council uh, purchase the ad in the military service recognition book for a total of $205. Discussion? Okay, we have the invitation from the Swan River Friendship Center Housing Authority to the annual general meeting on Thursday. Thursday. The Housing Corporation. We've never been to the Housing Corporation before. Anybody interested in attending? What? This is at 5 o'clock. 5 p.m. 5 p.m. Oh, Your Worship, I believe they have 80 plus homes in our community. 86 is the number that's resonating. I may go for a while, but I had a, we have, I was planning on something else with the new uh, council that evening, so <clears throat> maybe I can just go for a while. I'll try to go too, sir. Okay. Favor? Karen. Some resolution that I do. Okay. The next one, just saw it tonight then, is the, <coughs> the meeting at the AMM with RCMD division. Councilor Sackle. I will be attending, but I just would like to see if council still has an appetite or the council that will be here. To keep pushing for you know longer hours or something, some sort of a shift change through the summer months. We always have those uh, those break in sprees when the warmer weather hits, and uh, you know one one uh, one staff sergeant told us that it can't be changed. Another one said it can be changed. I don't know if it ever has been changed, but it sure would be nice to see something. Like I know they've talked about morale in the past. You know they don't want to mess up the schedule, but I think it's proven fact that time after time, year after year, when it turns to warm weather, we have these rascals out causing trouble. We need some people or some staff out during these late hours. We'll be bringing, we'll be keeping, or keep on pushing that button anyways and some other things too. And also on that, just to your worship, I think we should certainly have uh, <coughs> computers in the cars and perhaps some sort of a video surveillance system to uh, enhance uh, their work in the community. Councilor okay. Moyle. Um, also, we could probably put on their agenda so we could have a discussion uh, as to uh, the status of the staff sergeant for the detachment here, um, where that's at, and maybe uh, timeline replacement and things like that. And the second thing that could potentially be put on the agenda um, that I would be putting forward um, we're still here is the uh, community safety officer uh, program that's piloted up in Thompson and in other uh, towns in Manitoba um, to see what kind of information that they could provide us and guidance in that matter. Okay, all well, that stuff for the new. Okay, under new business, and I mentioned before, the motion moved by Councillor Morio, second by Councillor Dory, was all the town purchase and added military service recognition book. Total of two hundred and five dollars. We have a couple of others, and that's to find those. We want to get service recognition books. All in favor? Opposed? Carried. Okay, AMM convention. Letter from municipal relations reviewing cabinet ministers and meetings. Decided who you want to meet with. I think we had. Sorry. 
I was going to say we definitely want to meet with uh, MIT regarding crosswalk and the, I forget what they call them, the, the bubble outs, the, the not too fond of. Okay. And, and in my mind, of you know, high importance would be the Minister of Health, uh, Mr. Friesen, relative to our health care concerns, specifically in my mind, the needs for the CT scan. Do we have to know that tonight? They'll have to have the information. I'll have to get this to them before Monday, October 29th. Mm -hmm. So I could still find out tomorrow about meeting with the minister yeah. that looks after the libraries? Yeah, you could let me know. Is there a little bit? Um, I'd like the Minister of Education on there to uh, express our concern about the school division. They're up on the review, review and stuff like that, and the importance of keeping the Swan Valley School Division intact. Councilor Lee, what's up? What's your name? Jacobs. Jacobs. Is there a limited number that we can have, or can we just you put in what we there's want? No guarantee. Yeah, because there's no guarantee that we That's will meet right. with any of these. And, so and we need to list them in order. In priority. Yeah. Okay. Because to me, I think the health minister is one of the top priority, and I think also the one that uh, uh, Minister that Councillor Doria mentioned as well, in my opinion. So. Okay, Councillor Sapp. What about, is there any thoughts about meeting with Trade and Enterprise, just about maybe more of an update on this cannabis and where it's leading and where it's going? and. Other good ideas. I know we don't have a store currently in Swan River, but potential is there, and probably within this year, I would assume there may be one. So, just any more education on that would be probably a bonus. And maybe while we're talking to the RCMP, maybe get an update on to the kind of handle they've got on on uh, their detection devices and what they feel, how their workload is going to change, just to kind of update us so that we know what's coming down the pipe as well. Um, sometimes I think the mentions they have the, the, what do they call them? So the plenary, plenary sidebars where everybody goes to different things, yep. and I'm thinking that we might have one on this, because they get it for I guess if we, if we think of any others, we can get them to you as long as we get them to you before Monday morning. Okay. Council Morning, you might want to abstain on yeah, that. I would declare your personal interest in the next topic. So. We have a motion moved by Council Delore, a second by Council Morning. Ooh. I wish I had changed that. Motion moved by Councilor Laurie, by Council Jacobson, resolved that the Town of Swan River approves the land lease and air transportation business operations agreement between the Swan Valley and Municipal Airport Commission and the Swan Valley Air. Discussion? Council Jacobson. So, Councilor Sackle, what is this really? Uh, well, we have uh, Mr. Morio is is been pursuing a, uh, an air service within the valley. I don't think that's any secret, nor should it be. Uh, he's just looking at possible locations out at the well, not possibly he pinpointed the location off the mat, off the uh, tarmac. I don't know better words to use, but the not the runway, but the other uh, strip in front of it. So he wants to secure a location in front there where he can possibly uh, put up a storage building for a future plane and then possibly future development if everything goes further so that he can have a hangar. And uh, so this is basically uh, uh, allowing us to sign a lease. The airport commission, I believe, voted in favor of the lease. 
Uh, they require approval from the two mm -hmm. And it requires that they approval from Swan Valley West and uh, Town of Swan River. I don't think this is necessarily stating that it's set in stone, but if he moves forward, there will be a lease agreement uh, set out for 20 years with, I believe, the option to renew after or go over the lease after five years or ten? Five. Five years. And the leases are not new for the airport commission because there are, it has been other leases in the past, correct? Correct, right. yeah. Okay. The uh, <coughs> prairie air, prairie? The crop spring. The yeah. crop spring. Yeah, we have some seasonal leases off and on. And in discussion with a cross bearing lease person, he's completely in favor of this. He's met with the cross bearer also. And I believe it was unanimous with all members of the board, with all of us sitting there. And I thank uh, Councillor Sato for talking about the need for this committee. This goes way beyond all the dimension that the committee needs it. And uh, Councillor Morio and his presentation was exemplary. He's talked about litigation, insurance programs, who can change the rules, when they can change the rules. And I think that's on our computer that I think you forwarded that to us relative to that contract that you, we looked at. Do councillors have a copy of that contract? Of the lease contract? Yeah. Yeah. I it, thought it was yeah, there. It's part, part of our agenda. So I thought that. Was wonderful. So uh, it's very thorough and uh, you have a copy. Great. Thank you. Any mm -hmm. discussion? All in favor? Next item on your agenda, you have the quotes for the renovations of the Veterans Hall. Three quotations. Discussion on those quotations. I guess the one quotation that came in the cheapest, it says uh, no backsplash, no mirrors. Was that something that was spec that they were supposed to provide? Mm -hmm. So they're not, they don't meet what we asked for then? That's right, yeah. And the other two do meet yeah. what we asked for in the, in the entirety. Mm -hmm. And and the very first one, that quotation had come in almost a year ago. So that's why um, we had discussed with that person, you know, what would be the approximate increase, you know, if if, it, if we don't get this done, you know, for, for a year. <laughs> so the no so, one, the, the riddles one, that there's no black backsplash on the other one either. That's right, yeah. So my or, question would be, what, what's the value of the black splash and mirrors? This is still the lowest bid. Yeah. Until I knew that, I wouldn't know if a thousand bucks is still the lowest bid. If it's five thousand, it's not. What was the last comment that you, your worship made? I, I didn't quite... There's a note written in on the uh, the riddles plumbing and heating. Oh, oh yeah, that, that, that one doesn't... But the other ones do. Yeah, yeah, the other ones do. Oh, on my understanding was the Bouchard one didn't have it either. Is that true? Bouchard has it on yeah. there. Which you have yeah. the countertops? Yeah. Right in the last line, we moved and replaced yeah. 12 years in four bathrooms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. so is the agreement then to accept the Bouchard one that is the lowest? It's the one that meets the criteria. Yeah. That's, a, that's the one I would go with. <laughs> so when when will the start date for these this renovation be? Um, it will be started in January, just because that's the way um, it works out with the bookings. There's a lot of bookings in December, but January it tends to be a little slower, so get the work done before the weddings start again. So we had budgeted in 2018 for this, group, yes. correct? Yes. And we had, and there was there was a portion being paid for by grants, but we had we had levied taxes for a portion of this, mm -hmm. correct? Yes. So we should see a uh, surplus in that amount to carry forward to next yeah. year. Yeah. So we have the motion moved by Councilor Deloria, second by Councilor Mora, resolve that Mark Bouchard contract be hired to complete the Veterans Community Hall renovation project for a total of fifty-two thousand six ninety-nine fifty. Discussion. Favor? Carried. <coughs> okay, you have the Superintendent Works Report. Any questions to Derek on the Superintendent Works Report? Uh, Councilor Moran. The back um, 
the upcoming projects you got in Public Works, are you, you guys on target to get that done hopefully before too much snow and freeze up? Uh, yes. Yeah, we can do it with projected weather schedules. Pretty confident. We've got the we've got the plan all set up that way, barring some emergency. There's a good chunk of the water service ones already done. I, I see. So. The two 13th Avenue south ones are complete. They'll be on 10th Avenue uh, tomorrow, and the Hill Avenue Thursday. <clears throat> Again, barring no surprises. Um, on the, uh, I see in the engineering section providing information for the CWWF grant for the 6th Street. Are we, uh, is there something not right? Because we should be pretty much done that one, right? Is there something? Not yeah, right the with that? substantial completion is done. Just the, the federal component is asking a lot of questions on our tender process and, and stuff like that. Why we chose, we didn't choose the lowest bidder. Mm. Things like that. So, I'm so is our money at risk? Uh, I'm not going to say no right now. I have no indication that our money is at risk. Okay. Just there, the questions have been coming right through the summer. And there's more questions than that one. That's the big one. Okay. But uh, a lot of it was to do with WCB deals with the subtrades, etc. <coughs> Council White. Uh, the upcoming uh, system struck back lane, is that might even be done by now or is it still on the list? So, uh, this is an order somewhat priority. The water and services will be done as, I can't say that they're priority, but whoever's ready stubbed out. Uh, culvert replacements on 2nd uh, Avenue Northwest were promised over two years ago, so if we have time, we're getting those done. Then we'll start the system struck. Okay. When I was with you last, you were in the process of contacting CN again about the concerns south of us. Did you get a reply from them yet? I did send an email to the Public Works foreman, but I haven't got a reply. Okay, thank you. Any other questions? The uh, extension of Westwood Road there, that's a, that's a public lane now, right? Uh, well, that process isn't complete, but it will be. Right. So do, we have, do we have to name it? Uh, when, that when we apply to when we do that, there'll be a road opening bylaw. Okay, and that's when we need. Okay. Well, would that be an extension of the other road that's there? It very well could be. I know we have a request from one of the landowners for the naming of the road. Because yeah. uh, it, it could be a, an extension of Westwood. It'll be whatever we choose in the bylaw. I'm assuming, correct? Yeah. Yeah. We choose to have it as Westwood Road. Yeah. All in favor? Of <laughs> Excuse me. Carried. You have the reports from the Taylor School radar signs. Any comments on that? We share both these with the RCMP, correct? Yep. Do they ever have any comment on on them or indicate any uh, well, can, opportunities can for them? Ken sends them over. Okay. And as far as I know, there hasn't really been any. When we were getting when we were getting the high right. 130, and the the time seemed to be consistent on those. Uh, they did send cars at those times periodically. They never did say they caught anyone, but they were in touch with Ken saying that they were sending cars <coughs> on those consistent times that they were catching the, the very high speeds. So we have the motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Laurie, resolved that the Taylor School radar speed sign reports for June to September 2018 be received. Discussion? Favor? It's carried. We have the motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Laurie, resolved that the SRS radar speed sign reports for August and September 2018 be received. Discussion? All in favor? The motion moved by Councillor Jacobson, second by Councillor Delore, resolved the accounts as follows: be hereby approved for payment, general accounts from check two three two three eight to two three three one four for one thousand six zero six seventy two, and payroll accounts from check four three two one to four three two seven for total one hundred five thousand nine ninety four thirty two. Any questions on any of the checks? 
All in favor? Okay, we have the management minute meetings. Any questions to Derek or Julia and most Councilor White? I just want to comment and pretty extensive, lots of wonderful things happening. But I see some of our staff is filing forms in the basement and I, somehow I, some of the professional staff, in my mind, somebody in the office might want to be doing that as opposed to, as opposed to uh, filing airport commission records in the basement. I think the office staff should do that instead of our CFO. I might be wrong. Councilor Delorey. Um, the report we received regarding the arena assessment, when will that be coming? Uh, is Patty indicated in the meeting when uh, it would be coming to Council a final report? I would have thought we would have probably had something like that tonight. Yeah, I'll, have to, I'll check with her. Um, tonight, I. I uh, See here, we're catching up with public works bill billing. What about uh, billings for uh, rec? Are we uh, with the shortage in the in the office? Are we keeping up with uh, rec billings? Um, I'll have to ask Terry about that. Where he's at with that? Okay. We wanted to get Does Terry do the billings, or do? Well, I would he have wanted to, that he wanted to set them up, and then he's going to get the staff to do that. Right. So I'll talk to him. About those. Okay. It used to be under the purview of the clerks that do the billings, Yes, correct? absolutely, and that's that's what's supposed to happen. Yeah. Okay. It's your mind, Terry, you can't do it all. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Okay. Council reports. Council Sackle. Oh, boy. Uh, not too much this go around. Uh, just the meeting we had with KGS on the, on the pool. Uh, <coughs> Other than that, not too much to report. I guess this will be my last meeting, and as a councillor with the town of Swan River, and I would just like to say uh, thank you to the rest of my fellow councillors for for uh, working with me and working as a team at times and having some great debates and uh, always been able to walk out that door and still be able to shake hands and get along. And what's, uh, what takes place in this room sometimes is hard to do. Uh, but everybody here is definitely professionals, and I respect each and every one of you. And uh, at the end of the day, when we leave this this council chambers, everybody's still able to uh, respect one another, and I think that's a that's a big piece, and that's a that's a big bonus that this council has that uh, some others could really, you know, learn from. And and uh, thank you to our our media person Jeremy and the Star Times for for bringing you know reliable. Uh, news releases about about our meetings. Uh, I know there's some controversy going on within another municipality right close to us, and they had the same option as us. They could hire Jeremy for the probably the smallest piece of their budget to make clear who is telling the truth, who is uh, debating what. If somebody's getting bullied, it could all be there. It's right there on the camera. Uh, I don't know why there's stones being thrown. I don't know why people are complaining about our star times, uh, complaining about our community. We have a great community. We have a, a great person here that's offering a service that could debunk all these myths. So uh, I know it was voted down on their council. They should really look look at it. It, it really adds some transparency and uh, credibility to their council. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Councilor Friesen. Whew. Any follow that? Exactly. Miss you too. Whether I'm here or not. Um, last week um, we had the rusks, we as in the community in bloom, poured the cement edging around two of the flower beds out of the cemetery. Um, looks great and should improve the neatness. I need Derek to uh, ask Mike not to plow around that because he'll dig it up if they do, you know, so. That's around the new planters, the new... Where the children's monument is, and the flower bed straight ahead coming into the cemetery. Okay? 
I'll talk to you too. Uh, Melba Tibbles contacted Hugh Skinner regarding a pruning workshop. That's also through uh, Communities in Bloom. Um, we're hoping to buy a big pot down for the park from Equinox. Not, not a pot, but a big pot. She was probably busy pruning him. <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, Maureen is applying for a grant through the foundation for this pot and perhaps some small hanging baskets. And I need to have a little meeting with Derek sometime to see what weight we can hang on someone. Um, the community's great. They've cleaned up all the pots and everything's cool. I think that's all I have. Thank you. Councillor White? Pretty busy. How are we doing? Exactly. Should have you last. Uh, we had the Airport Commission meeting, and uh, I get a compliment to Councillor Morio for doing all the work he's doing, trying to make our service come back to us. And that's appreciated. So having two renters out there certainly helps uh, the bottom line. I went to the uh, Albert uh, Chartrand uh, Walk for Missing and Indigenous Women with Councillor. And uh, Councilor Morio, the three of us, uh, it was a, a moving event. They did a bunch of videos uh, early in, in the process when we walked. And they should have fed us after because the food was so wonderful I could hardly walk. And then the uh, next day I went to the Prairie Mountain Health Stakeholders meeting where they give us uh, an update on what's happening in our community. And it uh, seems very positive. Things are moving forward. We've got a long way to go, but things are moving forward. Hopefully the mayor and uh, the Deputy Mayor will share the second meeting. Then I went to, it was Canadian Mental Health Association Week. So it's a chilly cook-off, uh, one noon hour, it was quite interesting. And the Swan Valley Outdoors, I'm not promoting it because they don't have to because it sold out a week ago and that's going to bring $30,000 plus into the Swan River community. So it's a wonderful event and people just bought into it really quickly. Then I went to the litigation and the CEO search meetings, the two meetings in the evening. Always uh, interesting to say the least and complex. I went to the, the provincial soccer, I walked around and visited people and watched a game or two. And I, I think an imperative that perhaps your worship, you might want to consider dropping a note to the convener because they brought 300 plus people. You couldn't get a room in the town of Swan River. We were actually dealing with the Living Word Bible Institute to provide, which they generously said they would, rooms for the athletes. Then we went to the Canadian Rangers meeting last night at the Vets Hall, similar to what we had last night. But the first time I heard of me, because I followed the challenge, auditorily challenge, they don't have to get guns out. If the shooting starts, they're out of there. So they are an arm of the military, and they're provided with all sorts of wonderful gifts. And they had, I'm going to say, 10, 20 people sign up to join the uh, Canadian Rangers, which was uh, very interesting to say the least. And then uh, today I went to the Concerned Citizens of North Parkland. Uh, they have a, a lead on a property that's already built and structured which might fit their goals, so that's embryonic. And they're sending out a petition looking for people to sign it, trying to garner support. On the miscellaneous side, in no particular order, we've talked about this before, I, I, most of it was my idea, I don't think it was. We've talked about the possibility of having a Dick Walker Road, Dick Walker Way in our community. So somehow I want that written down in our minutes that we should be discussing if, when, and how, and why we would or would not do that. So I can't think why we would not. So that's a, that's a big deal for uh, a, like a, a mentor for our whole community. And Jason, you alluded to the fact that uh, we respect one another, we can debate, discuss. And I think a lot of that comes in no particular order from uh, his worship who has taught me you can argue to be the concept and don't have to get mad at the people. I remember 11 years ago, so I was upset, to say the least. I'm a competitive guy. And he said, no, they don't agree with the concept. That doesn't mean they disagree with you. So you two gentlemen bring that mindset that we can debate, discuss, disagree, and still go out for coffee and debrief, whatever. So I want to thank both of you guys uh, publicly for the work and the things you've taught me, and I assume council as a whole. So thank you. Councilor James. Well, the first thing I wanted to comment on was from Councillor uh, Friesen's comments about pot, and I think that maybe we're going to have to uh, think about the words that we're using uh, and maybe hanging pots and stuff like that uh, down the road, especially after tomorrow. Um, just to expand a little bit more on what was said, because I've also attended several of those, those functions, but 
uh, Prairie Mountain Health, or I should say Swan Valley Health Facilities and Prairie Mountain Health, um, uh, we had the discussion about the 13 practitioners that we now have in the clinic, as well as two pra nurse practitioners, and they had mentioned that they had 8,500 patients that have already been registered in that clinic. So it's a huge number, and obviously showing that um, the need in this valley, and I think they even alluded a little bit about how the services are required very similar to the Dauphinus. So I don't think that the discussion that we had, I remember you know, five years ago, what we, what we had and what we need to service in this uh, valley or this in our area uh, is very similar to Dauphinus, very much important as, as so. <clears throat> and then of course they talked about the, the needs of uh, the clinic and how it's expanding to the point where they are running out of room. And, uh, and another discussion is going to have to be made about what the future of that clinic is and, and as far as the space goes for uh, future doctors because we know that there's more coming in, in the next year or so and, uh, and so on. They talked about My Health Team and, and how they are now partnering or have been partnering with South Victoria Cree Nation and others and this is the first in this province I guess for partnering with First Nations so it's a great opportunity to reach out to those areas as well as, uh, you know, as far as this, the health care needs of the whole Swan River Valley. And uh, basically that was it for me. Thank you, Councillor Um Well, on the 11th, attended the uh, uh, pool litigation meeting with all of you fine folks and then uh, we talked uh, with our consultants about our CAO search, so hopefully we'll be able to have some news in the not too distant future on that front. Um, last night I attended the uh, open house for the Canadian Rangers and the turnout was much better than I thought it would be and there and then afterwards it, and you know what they they, they kind of do it to themselves as far as scaring people away with the paper to sign up was this thick you, you, you know it's a federal government program when the paperwork is that thick to sign up for a for a volunteer position basically. It's an application they were saying that was the same as signing up for the Canadian Armed Forces. Yeah, it's like the same application you choose to sign up for the well, um but anyway there was really enough to think they could proceed. More, more than half. Yeah it, it looked it looks like we're gonna have a Canadian Ranger outfit here and uh and they even uh, said they'd make uh, an exception for Mr. White if he wanted to join, or Councillor White if he wanted to join. Uh, he didn't meet all the criteria, but they said, they, yeah. Um, but uh, so that that's really good uh, good to see in our community. Um, and I guess I just wanted to uh, say thank you to Councillor Sackle and Mayor McKenzie and uh, to Julie. Um, this is for sure. It could be all of our last meetings. We don't know, except for yours, I guess. Um, but for uh, for the three of them, this is definitely their last meeting, and I just want to say thank you for all the, uh, the guidance and the discussion and debate, and sometimes downright arguing we've done. But it's uh, it's been really good. Um, I've learned a lot from you guys. Uh, sometimes I can I can fly off uh, fly off the trigger, and it's you guys are kind of a, a safety for me, a, a safety to my trigger. So. Um, Anyways, I just uh, really appreciate everything you guys have done with Glenn over the last 30, year, 30 years you've been here, um, and Jason over the last eight years, and Julie, you've been here for about eight years as well, so thank you guys very much. And the rest of you guys, I wish you all the best in the uh, election on Wednesday, and same to the candidates that aren't here. I wish everyone all the best, and uh, hopefully we'll see you guys on the other side after Election Day. Thank you. Councilor Moria. Um, mostly everything has been covered already, but uh, on the uh, October 4th, I, I also attended the Friendships uh, Center gathering and walk for the murdered and missing women, um, and then did the Moosai campaign walk with the RCP and fellow uh, Friendship Center people uh, for that event. Um, again, uh, October 11th, I attended the uh, KGS uh, consultant and uh, litigation report, followed by the CEO search meeting that we had. Last night, the 15th, I also attended the Canadian Rangers um, session, brought back a lot of memories from when I was you were a ranger. Uh, I was actually in the full service. Uh, so a lot of the documents, I probably had copies of them and uh, still remember my regimental numbers. So um, I did fill out the application. I haven't turned it in yet, still deciding. So we'll see 
how we are there, so uh, we'll go from there. But uh, from a professional side, uh, at work, it looks like I'm having come, come up with a game plan because over half of the EMS station is signed up for it. Um, so it's uh, they're really involved, want to get involved and stuff like that. But as uh, fellow councillors uh, stated, that uh, they're well in or halfway of getting the numbers of between the 12 and 30 max that they needed. Um, and there was probably potentially another half dozen or more going tonight to sign up that weren't there last night. So um, just listening to the rumors and the talking that I had, they might have a waiting list to get on there. So, so it's a very well good. So um, with that, I also want to uh, thank uh, CEO Julie on her uh, retirement from her CEO life and uh, her life adventures. Uh, going forward, like through our lakes, and good luck with that. Um, also, want to put a tribute out to Councillor Sackle for uh, being part of the first term on the council for myself. I learned a lot from you with your diplomacy and advocating for community and all that. So, thank you very much for being a councillor, fellow member, and it'd be uh, if I am here next week, um, we'll sorely be missed. Okay. Um, Mayor McKenzie, again, thank you very much for your dedication and decades of guidance to the town. So I uh, hate to use the word decades, but it, it is decades. <laughs> um, so the town will be uh, left in good hands from what we can see from Mayor uh, Clay Jacobson. So congratulations on that. I um, also want to comment um, on all the fellow uh, candidates for the town of Swan River and um, putting forward a respectful election campaign. Um, everybody's been as far as I'm aware, is respectful to every other's views and actually going out for lunches and talking with each other to already create the networks and stuff like that, which is great to see. Um, even though we have different views and platforms, communication process and friendship building is already in place. So, and then, uh, finally, I want to thank uh, the residents of the Town of Swan River for uh, having me here for this term. I uh, hope I've earned your trust and respect while I was here and hope that. Uh, I can carry forward and you uh, put me in a seat here uh, next week so I can carry on for another four years. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, a couple of things. First of all, something that has to be carried forward is the proposal for the CT scanner. So, uh, Councillor Jacobs, the Mayor elect, sat in on the meeting that we had at Craig on Health, and we have the person from, uh, I forget what it's called now, but it's going to provide sure. the shared health. And uh, he gave us the, the goods on the actual cost. So the CP scanner is $1 million, not 300000 as we thought. But that didn't seem to scare me away. I think that money could be in the fund. It could be raised in the ballot. About 450000 to renovate the, uh, the vacant building or the vacant room that's in the uh, thing. And 250000 either operating costs. So all those are man manageable. So it's not something that we have to be. That's a lot of money, but it, it is manageable. The other thing we talked about is the expansion of the clinic. So uh, a couple of, of uh, wants in those particular cases that would have to go through uh, in the future. And last night I attended the conservation district meeting. Uh, they have hired a shell as the uh, technician and uh, <coughs> did an excellent job. And they also agreed to buy a drone. So they have a drone instead of looking at pictures of the projects and of any of the able to fly this most projects, so that's a step forward. And uh, maybe a little bit sad that this is my last official meeting, but I'm sort of looking forward to retirement. Maybe some other challenges in the future to thank all the councils through the years, and especially this group over the last years, it's probably been the easiest to get along with, and I think uh, that's because we're all friends, even though we can discuss things and not agree, like Councilor Sackle said, in the of the room, uh, nobody's got a grudge or a chip on their shoulder. Everybody comes back to the next meeting and go ahead, all working in the best interest of the town. We've been very successful with the uh, administrative staff, and to thank Julie and Derek and all the administrative staff for all the things that they do. Uh, you're the people that are the frontline people, and quite often, you're the, most of the time, you're the ones that get most of the flat and things don't go right, or we make some sort of a silly decision. You're the ones that have to face the public when they bring up those kinds of things forward. So, just wish everybody all the best in the future. I hope we could all be together forever, but that's not going to happen. That's the reality of the situation. So, times change and things change. So, 
moving forward, and I'm confident that there will be a core of you still here to take Swan River in the proper direction. So thank you for supporting me. You made my job very easy. And we'll continue. Julie, do you have anything to say? Well, just preparing for the election. So we had uh, election workers training on Monday, so yesterday, and getting ready for the advance poll on Thursday. We had a few people um, do their uh, voting by the mail and ballot, and um, and of course this is my last meeting as well. So I just want to say thank you to everyone and goodbye and. Good luck to all of those that are running in the election. And I'll probably drop in and say hi once in a while and keep in touch. I'll give everyone my uh, contact information in case you're ever up north and want to stop by for a visit. That would be great. Thank you. Okay. Approving accounts, did we do that? Yes. Yeah, that'd be okay. Fair. Let's clear it there together on the same resolution. Okay, we have the motion moved by Councilor Sackle, second by Council Friesen. Was all that the signing officer of the town of Swan River be Mayor Glenn McKenzie, or Deputy Mayor Lance Jacobson, and Superintendent Works Derek Poole, Chief Financial Officer Terry Scanita. That's a request of the Royal Bank. Okay. All in favor? Motion moved by Councillor Sackle, second by Councillor Fries, and resolved that the October 2nd, 2018 Recreation Committee meetings be received. Discussion? Yeah. Um, I was at this meeting, and I, I call it somewhat good, but the, the first, on the first uh, issue with, with the uh, female change room, I don't remember us talking, it said action staff to talk to Britain once more after cost of term, how much they're willing to fundraise. I don't remember us talking about asking them for fundraising and and in my mind it it doesn't seem fair I have a daughter who one day may want to play sports did we make the boys fundraise for their change room I highly doubt it but right now we basically make the girls change it change in a room closet and they rightly so want a change room I don't know if it's if there is fundraising dollars it shouldn't just be up to the girls to have to fundraise for it I guess is what I'm saying Boys didn't have to fundraise for theirs, or if, they, if there was, it was a it was a community fundraising thing. So to, to ask the girls who are asking for this doesn't seem quite right. So I, I and correct me if I'm wrong, I don't remember talking about that. Uh, and I was in that same meeting, and I was kind of surprised to see that too. And I thought that the last words on that whole discussion were that actually that we were going to look at maybe uh, looking at something for uh, budget 2019. And mm -hmm. I thought that was the last of it. So I agree with Councillor Delorey that. Why are we asking for a group to uh, fundraise for that when you know we didn't have to do it for uh, another group? So mm -hmm. I think there will have to be some discussion about what this and, is all about. And I, and I have no problem with fundraising dollars coming towards this if they want. But I mean, it says well, they I'm, uh, they is meaning the girls who are asking for yeah. it, and that, that's I guess what I take issue yeah. with. But other than that, they look good, and I can. Yeah. All in favor? Carry. Okay. The motion moved by Councilor Sackle, second by Councilor Friesen, resolved that Superintendent Works be authorized to attend the Saskatchewan Water and Wastewater Exhibition held in Saskatoon from uh, November 7th to 9th. Discussion? Councilor Moore. Uh, Derek, do you have that in your budget for that? Or? It is in the budget. Yeah, we have enough. Uh, just to let Council know, uh, I am a, a board member for the MWWA and I will be there obviously representing the town, but uh, uh, we would we will be with the board members for the SWWA, and we, we, we you know, we're, we're hoping to gain some knowledge on, on the CEUs, the continuing ed education units, and the certification of, of uh, employees in their northern communities, and then keeping those certified employees in those northern communities, because I know they have the same problems that Manitoba does, not particularly Swan River yet, but uh, but even places like Nikwa and Dauphin are really struggling. But uh, 
and then obviously, as I noted, uh, the lagoon. Uh, I'll be going with the, the director of works in, in Dauphin, and just to discuss the details of the projects. Uh, and next time we'll be there with a number of consultants on that have done similar projects and would like to discuss a tour. I know we've been talking about that for a while, but a, a, a council tour of the the project that just got finished in Sapatoya because it's, it's almost exactly what uh, what we're looking for uh, in terms of options. <coughs> but that's just some of the things I'd like to talk with next on the boat. And then ATAP infrastructure and manacle controls and delco controls will be there and we would like to stop in at uh, and I'll have a meeting with them regarding the PLC upgrade to the water treatment plant in 19. <coughs> Councilor Sam, Fred Thompson, Jacobs. Um, Derek, like a, for me, I, it doesn't matter to me that you know what, uh, where we're, when we're spending or we're sending out our employees or management or whatever part of the team to important you know functions like this, and I think that it probably would serve as well since some of those things that we are going to be looking at down the road. I just wonder, like, exactly how does it fit into your planning of your uh, training and, and so forth that you have budgeted for for this year and that it works within that budget? So we have, I don't have my numbers with me, but I can get those to you. I can't, like, I won't be able to give you honest answers right now, but uh, we do have enough money that I think there's 4,900 or 5,400 in the in the budget and we have not used uh, near all of that and there's no other training or other uh, conferences I guess that, that public works employees will be going to. All in favor of the resolution? Okay. We have the motion moved by Councilor Sackle, second by Councilor Freeze and resolve the superintendent works. The author well, we've done that one. Motion moved by Councilor White, second by Councilor Freeze and resolve the financial statements for the six months ending June 30th to be adopted as received. Discussion? All in favor? Okay. Motion moved by Councillor Friesen, second by Councillor Sackle, resolved pursuant to section 152 for the municipal act. This meeting be this council will went to committee and close the meeting to the public. All in favor? 